While some of you might already have an idea of what Hyperloop is, some of you might not. For those of you who don't already have an idea, Hyperloop is a transportation technology concept that was first proposed by Elon Musk in 2013. It involves the use of high-speed pods that travel through vacuum-sealed tubes, potentially reaching speeds of up to 760 miles per hour. Yeah, I know it sounds really cool. The concept was received with both excitement and skepticism. Yeah, of course, while some people are always open-minded to new idea on how to make things easier, others find difficulty to accept new ideas and not always comfortable with change. This is one the challenges faced while trying to bring these ideas to life. Welcome to Top Futuristic. Today, we'll be taking a look at what happened to Hyperloop. How is the idea first came into existence? some of the challenges facing it and the future of the project is looking. But before we continue, please subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. The Hyperloop Project, which some saw as a revolutionary mode of transportation that could transform the transportation industry, others saw as an impractical and unrealistic idea. On today's video, we will explore what happened to Hyperloop since its inception, the progress made, the challenges faced, and the future outlook. Today's segment promises to be very exciting, so sit back, relax, and keep your mind focused. In 2013, Elon Musk proposed the concept of Hyperloop in a white paper that outlined a vision for a high-speed transportation system that could move people and goods at unprecedented speeds. The system would use vacuum-sealed tubes with pods that travel at high speeds using a combination of levitation and propulsion. Musk suggested that the system could be built for a fraction of the cost of high-speed rail, and it would be faster and more efficient. Musk's proposal sparked a wave of excitement and interest, with several companies and individuals taking up the challenge to develop the concept further. One of the earliest and most prominent companies to pursue the idea was Hyperloop One, now known as Virgin Hyperloop, which was founded in 2014. The company quickly raised significant funding from investors, including DP World, the Dubai-based port operator. Over the next few years, several other companies, including Hyperloop Transportation Technologies, Transpod, and Arivo, joined the race to develop Hyperloop technology. Each company had its own unique approach to the design and implementation of the system, but all shared the vision of creating a new mode of transportation that could revolutionize the industry. Since its inception, Hyperloop technology has made significant progress, with several companies making strides in different areas of the technology. Virgin Hyperloop, for instance, has made significant progress in testing the technology, with successful tests of its Hyperloop pods in a vacuum-sealed tube. In November 2020, it conducted its first manned test, with two passengers traveling in a Hyperloop pod at a speed of 107 miles per hour. The test demonstrated the potential of the technology and brought the concept closer to reality. HTT, on the other hand, has focused on developing the technology in collaboration with governments, and the company has signed agreements with several governments and businesses worldwide, including the UA, India, and China, to develop Hyperloop systems in those regions. It has also developed partnerships with several businesses, including engineering firms and construction companies, to develop the technology further. Transpod, another company in the Hyperloop race, has focused on developing a sustainable and environmentally friendly system. The company has proposed using renewable energy sources, such as solar and wind power, to power its Hyperloop system. It has also focused on developing a system that is modular and scalable, making it easier and more affordable to implement. So I know we are probably wondering what are some of the challenges and setbacks that are stopping this revolutionary idea from becoming a reality. Despite the progress made, Hyperloop technology is said to bring revolutionary change to the transportation industry, and it is of no surprise that it still faces several challenges. The first, and one of the biggest challenges facing Hyperloop technology, is ensuring its safety. The high speeds at which the technology runs could lead to very drastic accidents. A second big challenge that the Hyperloop technology is facing is cost. This might seem like a surprise knowing that, for one, Musk is one of the richest men in the world, and also with the kind of attention and support it has gotten from some big companies. Nevertheless, the development and implementation of Hyperloop technology are likely to be extremely expensive. Funding is required to build the infrastructure, develop the technology, and operate the system. Regulation is another big challenge that the Hyperloop project will have to overcome. 
The Hyperloop is a new technology, and there are currently no regulations governing its use. Developing regulations will be necessary to ensure the safety and efficiency of the system. Another hurdle that needs to be scaled is the issue of energy consumption. Hyperloop technology will require significant amounts of energy to operate. Finding sustainable sources of energy will be essential to minimizing the environmental impact of the system. Keeping the Hyperloop infrastructure and technology in good working order will require significant maintenance and upkeep. This will increase the cost of operation. The weather is also a challenge, as extreme weather conditions, such as high winds or heavy snowfall, could impact the operation of the Hyperloop system. Passenger comfort is another challenge, as the high speeds and acceleration involved in the Hyperloop system could be uncomfortable for some passengers. Additionally, the public may be hesitant to adopt a new and relatively untested form of transportation. Building public trust and acceptance will be important for the success of the Hyperloop. Let's not forget competition, as there are still other modes of transportation, such as planes and trains, that already have well-established infrastructure and are widely used. The Hyperloop will need to compete with these modes of transportation to gain market share. Lastly, implementation is also a big hurdle. Building the infrastructure necessary for the Hyperloop will be a significant challenge. Land acquisition, regulatory approvals, and construction will all need to be carefully managed to ensure the success of the system. Hyperloop technology is a complex and multifaceted issue that involves various stakeholders and interests, including governments, private companies, and the public. Politics play a significant role in the development and implementation of Hyperloop technology, as it requires significant investment and cooperation from different actors. With the high stakes involved and the number of top-tier stakeholders involved, of course, a project like Hyperloop is going to come with some political hulls. One of the main political challenges facing Hyperloop technology is funding. The high cost of building and implementing a Hyperloop system requires significant financial resources, which are often provided by governments and private investors. The availability allocation of funding for Hyperloop projects can be influenced by political factors, such as the political priorities of governments and the willingness of investors to take on risk. Another political challenge is regulation. The development of Hyperloop technology raises various regulatory issues, such as safety standards, liability, and licensing. Governments and regulatory agencies will need to establish clear regulations and standards for Hyperloop technology to ensure its safety and reliability. Additionally, politics can impact the public's perception and acceptance of Hyperloop technology. Public support and acceptance are crucial for the success of Hyperloop projects and political factors such as media coverage and political rhetoric can influence public opinion. The future of Hyperloop technology is still uncertain, but there are ongoing efforts to develop and commercialize it. Hyperloop is a proposed high-speed transportation system that would use low-pressure tubes to transport passengers and cargo at very high speeds. Several companies, including Virgin Hyperloop, SpaceX, and Hyperloop Transportation Technologies, are working on developing and testing Hyperloop technology. These companies are conducting feasibility studies, building test tracks, and working on designing and building the necessary infrastructure to support a Hyperloop system. In the short term, Hyperloop technology is likely to be used for transporting cargo and reducing freight transportation times. However, the long-term goal is to develop a passenger Hyperloop system that can travel at speeds of up to 700 miles per hour, reducing travel times between cities and potentially revolutionizing the way we travel. However, just as we have mentioned previously, there are still many challenges that need to be overcome before Hyperloop can become a reality, including safety concerns, regulatory hurdles, and the high cost of building the necessary infrastructure. Despite these challenges, many experts believe that Hyperloop technology has the potential to transform transportation and improve efficiency and sustainability. Well, there you have it for those of you who may have wondered about what went wrong with the project which was set to be the future of transportation, but still seems like just an idea with no physical manifestations. I hope our video of today has kept you better informed about the Hyperloop technology. And for those of you who just learned about Hyperloop technology, I know some of you must want this idea to become a reality. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't hesitate to let us know what you think about the situation of the Hyperloop technology in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And if enjoyed this video, please share with your friends. Thanks for watching.